I look a hot mess. I haven't been feeling well today, so. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Mm, I, won't, I won't keep you long then. Oh, it's okay. Oh, okay. How are you beautiful besides feeling sick? I'm okay. Um, I'm good. I'm good, actually. Quarantine's been treating me well. That's good. Um, I love the photo you posted of your mom. How did you spend Mother's Day? Did, were you able to be with your mom for Mother's Day? Yeah, I was. We kind of just watched some TV. My mom's not really big on Mother's Day. And mm -hmm. she told me she was like, every day with you is Mother's Day because we oh. always hang out. So um, nothing too special. I love it. That's special. Yeah. Uh, so you were born and grew up in South Carolina. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Um, the oldest of two. Tell me how you got involved in acting. How did this come on your radar? Well, I wanted to do it since I was three. And basically, um, let's see. I wanted to do it since I was three and told my parents. And around the time I was like nine, an agency moved in um, across the street from me. Mm -hmm. And we got started working together. And I kind of did acting classes and a lot of different stuff. And then I got my manager when I was around 11 or 12, started doing like short films, booked my first role when I was 14, my first paying role, and then got Greenleaf when I was 16. You said baby girl. <laughs> yeah. And you actually wanted to be a doctor, right? Is that true? For a short period of time, like whenever I would think that being an actress was too unrealistic, I'd be like, okay, I want to go to like, P I want to do pediatric oncology or, you know, something along those lines. But acting ended up working out well, so. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> so in 2015, you were cast as Sophia in Greenleaf. I want to talk a little bit about, if you don't mind, the audition process because, spoiler alert, Oprah, like, wanted you after the audition. And so... I want to talk to you a little bit about that process because I think that's important to show people that you don't just land on these shows. There is like a process that happens. So can you tell us a little bit about you were supposed to go to Nickelodeon, is that right? And then you ended up with Greenlee? Yeah. So what happened was, was um, I was doing a screen test. I was supposed to have a screen test for Nickelodeon. Mm -hmm. So they were drawing up all my contracts and wanted me on a flight the following Monday. And I got an audition for Greenleaf on Friday. And then Monday, casting said they liked it. We heard nothing from, wait, so yeah, that was Greenleaf. Greenleaf gave me the audition on Friday. Um, wait, my timeline must be off. Hold on, okay. So Nickelodeon contacted me on Thursday. They wanted me to fly out for a screen test like the Monday a week later mm -hmm. so they had to draw up all the contracts so yeah so then Friday I got the audition for Greenleaf um Monday I heard the casting like the liked me because I just sent in like a short like three minute video of my audition tape um and my manager was kind of pushing them like hey like she's about to test for Nickelodeon and she's probably gonna land this role and so if you want her, you got to kind of nab her up because they're about to sign these contracts. And when she signs the contract, she's locked in if she gets the role. And um, after that, Tuesday, we heard nothing from Greenleaf. Wednesday, casting said that Oprah called and said that she loved me and wanted me, but they had to figure it out with the network. And so then on Thursday, they sent over contracts. And Nickelodeon, I was like, I was like crying, like, do I sign the Nickelodeon contracts? Because then I'm, I have to do the test deal. And if I get it, I can't do Greenleaf. Right. Like, what am I supposed to do? So it was like a huge, huge thing, a huge fiasco in my world. Just like, oh, my God, God, what do you want me to do? I don't know. I don't know. And so did you like pray about it? How did, because that's probably one of your first major decisions. Because ultimately, yeah. you had to make that for yourself, right? Yeah, no, I definitely was, like, on my knees praying for, like, hours on end. I love it. Um, did you test for Sophia when you auditioned? Was that the role that you, okay. So I didn't test for her. They just saw my audition tape, 
And because of the whole thing with Nickelodeon and Oprah saying that she loved me, they kind of just sent me over the contracts. And that was that. They made it really super easy. It was like a straight offer. I mean, that's amazing. So the final season starts in June. Um, yes. What can viewers and fans expect from this final season of the show? A lot of seeing the family together and coming together and um, a lot of surprises. Mm -hmm. um, but mostly just seeing the family kind of unite as one. Yes. Um, how has this, Desiree, how has this show impacted you? How has it changed your life? It has in a lot of ways. I've created a whole, like, I've got a whole other family. You know, um, my family on the show is kind of like family off, off in real life, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so that's been a huge blessing. Um, it's, I mean, it's where I spent my high school years for the most part. So, I don't know, a lot of, I guess what you would say, like my more prominent childhood years were spent doing Greenleaf at this point. And um, it was nice to grow and learn from everybody and have this be kind of like my first series regular role. Um, just cause the people around me are so like God oriented mm -hmm. and um, very, very just, they're astounding actors. So it's like, it's great just to watch them and learn from them. And I don't know, the whole show has been a huge blessing to me, just having some stability for a little bit. Right. Like having this whole new family, learning from so many talented people and getting to work alongside them. And they're also not just talented, but they're extremely sweet. So right. okay. um, yeah, so I love everybody. And that's kind of been what's changed my life. What's the one thing that you will take away from this process that you learned from the people that you've worked with? Just mm, to be hardworking mm -hmm. um, and to be confident in yourself and what decisions you make, but always come with a lot of options. Right. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm not. Okay. And you're actually best friends with Lovey in real life, right? How yeah, that's my best having, friend. Like, a big person to work with. Say that again. I said, what, what has it been like working with Lovey? She's your best friend in real life. What has it been like having, like, a wing person on set that you can kind of, uh, you know, just let it all it's hang out with? It's super fun. I mean, everybody on set, sorry, my dog's coming to visit me. Everybody on set is kind of like, we're all really so much like family, but having Lovey around is super fun just because um, we make crafty runs and raid the food crap, raid all the food, like just take everything with us back to our trailers, listen to music in our downtime, watch movies in our downtime, you know. And it's kind of been like, we've been on this journey together. It's been kind of our our lives. Like we started out in high school together and now she's 21, I'm gonna be 21 in, in, at the end of the month. Right. And um, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's my best friend. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. The only thing that's really hard about it is when we have to do fighting scenes. Mm -hmm because we just both want to burst out laughing. It's so hard. Like I have this one video of us like practicing a fight and like as soon as we got done they're like, "Okay guys, you got to be serious. You got to be really serious." We're like, "Okay. Okay. We got that. We can do it." And then like at the end of it we'd be like, "Oh my god, like that was so funny." It was so it was hilarious. I love it. I love it. Desiree, what's your dream role? Who would you like to work with next? I think something that has a very, maybe, I would love to do another TV show series regular role because that's just, that's great. But I guess my dream role to be would be to be, wait, 
my dream role would be to be in a movie um, where it tells like a story that has a lot of meaning and is very empowering and um, hopefully something that is up for like an Academy Award or something along those lines. But like, even, I don't know. It's like a good question. What is my dream role? I think, yeah, something that has a very powerful um, story behind it. Um, I mean, I feel like most of the roles that are coming out these days have been kind of getting more, uh, they have a little more substance. Right. So hopefully something like that will come about a couple of times. It's coming. It's for sure. <laughs> what advice would you give to the people that are watching that want to get into acting? They don't necessarily know how or what path to take. What advice would you give them? I would just say be persistent. Um, find an agency that's local to you. Take classes. Um, meet people. Uh, put yourself out there. YouTube's a huge platform nowadays, um, yeah. so that's great. Yeah. Um, but besides that, just be persistent. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of time, and it's not easy, but it's worth it. So that's my main piece of advice. Just stick with it. It took me like four years um, to land my first role after I'd started working with my manager. So it was very time consuming and not the easiest job. The audition process is not easy. But like I said, it's all well worth it once you come out with what you want in the end. I love it. Your 21st birthday is coming up. What are you planning to do for your birthday? I don't know because of quarantine. Like I know. It's hard to say. I kind of just want to rent a house and have some of my friends come over. Um, I think what I'm going to do on my actual 21st birthday is probably sit down with my mom, hang out with her and my family and do a Carvel cake and then have Lovey and Yori come over. Lovey and, and Yori. Over well, this, right? <laughs> yeah, of over. course. Of course. <laughs> you're, you're so welcome. Yeah, Yuri okay. is um, Lovey's, but uh, not her best friend. She's Yuri is one of my best friends, but she's Lovey's twin. I love that because a yeah, lot of people so don't know that she has a twin. I don't think a lot of people know that either. Yeah, so Lovey has a twin named Yuri, and they're both my best friends. And so they're gonna come over on my birthday, and we're gonna kind of celebrate the three of us. And um, I might see if any of my other girlfriends can come to town, but they're kind of spread out a little bit more. Both of them usually live in New York, but due to Corona, everyone's kind of gone back home. Right. So. Well, I hope you feel better, my dear. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for taking to talk to us, even though you're not feeling well. I'm going to be praying for you to feel better. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I'm so glad I could do this. Yes.